Hey guys, so um, I'll tell you a bit about this hill. Criffle, Dumfries and Galway to start with is like where I'm from and um, Criffle is like, my, whenever I visit it's like the hill I like hill running. I've been up it more than 50 times, I just have never pitched it. So I just thought I wasn't planning to come up, I just wanted to inventory check the weather. I've just been up Hill Villain actually two days ago and I, I was wanting to rest because my Achilles has given me Jeff recently. But nah, not resting. It's three miles altogether, so it's 1.5 up and 1.5 down, but it's really steep. And it looks over across the Lake District. But I checked the weather and I saw that there is an inversion forecast for the morning. And that's quite rare with Criffle, because Criffle, I think it's 570 metres high. If I'm wrong, I'll put the correct metres down here. But yeah, basically I'm really, really wanting to capture some incredible drone footage with it peeking out of the clouds in the morning. A friend of mine's been up before in Inversion and I've seen video and it looks insane because there's no mountains surrounding it and it's like a flat sea panorama around it with one little hill popping out. Because all the other hills around it are too low to be over it. So, fingers crossed, I get it or I wake up in a cloud. So, I'm going to set off now. Uh, and I'm going to vlog on the way up, set the tent up. The pitch is heathery, I'll have to be careful for ticks, <laughs> but it's really warm so yeah, um, I, I have got lots of sun cream on as well. Um, and again, just got my summertime kit in my bag. Um, could have packed lighter but I've got a drone in there and so on, so <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I've had dinner already which is a nice thing. Because, I mean, this would take me just under an hour to get up, but I'm going to go nice and easy today. Um, so, fill up some water halfway um, and get to the top and enjoy the evening and have a nice sunset. Because it's a clear night and I'm really looking forward to the sunset. And just chilling out in my tent, um, hoping that the midges are not too bad up there. Um, there's not many out here right now and it's still really warm, so hopefully we're good. So, I'll catch you in a bit. Ciao! There used to be a gate right here, they've removed it. Here we go. The true path will start soon. What a stunning day, honestly. Unreal. That's the farm over there where you park at. A little hill yet deceiving. <laughs> it's a steep one guys. Short, bit tough. I'll tell you that. So clear. It's a kissing, kissing gate. Looking back to the Solway coast, just behind me. Lovely loch down there. I'll put the name of the loch here for you. Can't even mind it right now. I'm stuck. Oh! I think I'm going to need my hiking sticks now. Turns out, eh? stream next to me. We get water soon. Starting to get steep now. Not quite the steepest bits yet but 
we're getting there. Oh, it's even the evening and I still want to jump in the water. It's so hot. And I'm happy there's no midges right now. Although, I'm probably jinxing it by saying that. We are in Dumfries and Galloway though, we're not in the Highlands. So that's a positive for the midge. I do feel a bit stingy though, I must say. <laughs> so, hey guys, this is the second track crossing. You cross over two tracks on the way up this path. Such a straightforward path, you can't get lost on it, even in the clag. And through that path and then there's a gate to go through. That's where it opens up to anywhere I'll also get water. So, we go. You guys, so this is the pickup point for water, my filter. I don't really filter it that much usually, but I use this as what I use for my tea tonight and tomorrow morning. So I've got a litre and a half in my bag already. Look at that behind me. All that sand, the tide's out right now. So I'm going to fill up, wash off to get any ticks. Just over here. Nice fresh water. Well, it's actually a wonderful hill and it's a very easy one. Cheers for beginners. This is a B3. There we go. It's time to get this looks up back on and get ourselves up that mountain. Look at all the birds. Yeah. This is the last gate. <laughs> Before the climb. I don't know if you can see that, that's the lock slowly revealing itself. I might not be able to show you that tomorrow because I might be walking through the cloud. But that's the lock. It's down there. And right in the distance, I don't know if you can see it on this, but Queensbury, one of the highest hills in this part of the region. It's in the Thornhill Hills, which I've done a lot of. Yeah. Nice one that. Quite like to pitch that too. Has a nice view over the Moffat Hills. Yep, just come from down there. You can clearly see the loch now. All this beautiful landscape to see the sunrise from. Tomorrow morning. Oh, just getting up this last bit now. It's hot. Nice little breeze though, which is quite pleasant. It's quite a trot. <laughs> Easy path. And I mean, uh, my Achilles is bugging me a bit, but not too bad because it's just a mile and a half up. And it's a nice and soft path, it's not concrete, you know. So, I'm coping all right actually. Quite pleasant. I'm going to get some beautiful views of the Stranraer National Park, I believe. I'll be able to maybe see the Merrick. It's a bit hazy, but I can slightly see it actually. Too far away to show you the whole of maybe forest. All the hills I trail run round, they're so small in comparison to this hill. And this hill's only, you know, so small itself, nowhere near Monroe Height. Yet, because it's the only big hill in this area, it just makes it seem, when you're up it anyway, looking up it looks tiny, but when you're up it, because there's such vast landscape around it, it makes it seem so high up. <laughs> Let's just hope I'm not in the cloud tomorrow. <laughs> so. I think I'll catch you on the last bit of path on the way to the summit. Get this bit over and done with.
of walking into the blue sky here. <laughs> All those hills, there's some bright hills over there. Are you getting to the summit now? Sun rises from over there, sun sets from over here. So, it's a bit boggy, but I might pitch there. But let's see what the summit's like. Right behind me. Looking down south. Stunning views. It's a trick point of the Solway coast behind me, all the way over to Sandy Hills and Ochin Cairn, Kirkubri direction, where I was actually brought up. <laughs> um, yeah, plenty of spots to pitch, as I thought, because I've been here before many times. That's, uh, so that's my pitch. We're looking over to Dumfries over there. I absolutely love this, like I was just saying. I absolutely love this going on over here. It's absolutely amazing. I'll sit and put my jet boil on over here. I've got my own personal seat, which is why I kind of chose the summit because I mean, it's flat too. I ended up not pitching where I thought I was going to pitch. But that is me for tonight. So yeah. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> My mum gave me this, I love it, just to stop the milk from leaking for my tea. <laughs> how, how cute's that? <laughs> and I just got my cool mug for today. So it's not winter time, so my tea stays hot now, so I'm not using my flask. And I've got my jet boil. So let's get a brew on, eh? With a beautiful view. How stunning is that, eh? How stunning. Loving it, so oh, get ball going. Oh, just about to pour it actually.
like making potions. <laughs> That is one fantastic brew. Cheers, guys. Hello. So that's the sun going down a bit early because it's the cloud is over there is formed. Uh, quite low cloud, so it's gonna make the sun set a bit earlier, which is good with me because I can sleep earlier. <laughs> but this bird is just not being quiet. Oi! Oh, that, that worked. Obviously it didn't. Is the sun going down behind me? Uh, there's three people that came up for sunset just over there and a guy on his bike. It was nice to have a little chat with some of them. And, um, I'm going to say goodnight to you and catch you in the morning, guys. Wish me luck for this inversion. I might be in a cloud. <laughs> Good night. Sleep though, I'm gonna go back to bed for six hours. I'm gonna get home for like seven and then go back to bed till 12. So, yeah, just enjoy this walk now and stick some music on. That'll be good. So, yeah. ask for it all can you but how beautiful is that still even in in this kind of weather stunning I would love a hill so I just checked the weather for Blencathra which is just across the water from me and right now it looks like it's in the really big storm but it must not be because <laughs> it says sun's out very good visibility so it must have been just because I chose, you know, I thought it would have been low enough to be honest on Criffle because the forecast on Criffle was saying clear as well, but I must have just missed it by maybe like a hundred meters or so because um, Criffle's 570 and you see Blencathra is over 900 I believe, I think it is anyway. So imagine if the cloud base was like 500 and I was just sitting at that. And then, you know, these inversions are usually like two or three hundred meters thick, sometimes less. And you're still above the cloud if you're at 900, you know, so yeah. Uh, I nearly had an inkling to go up one of the ones in the lakes yesterday because I was traveling. 
I was travelling up from down south and I had my gear in the car but I wanted to get home to celebrate the cake with my birthday and everything and I mean that's how that happened which was brilliant I loved it and I, like maybe I would have if my Achilles wasn't as annoying and could tolerate another hard hike after doing Hell Villain but it's a shame because I, I, I really like conversions, as you can see. <laughs> I'm pretty obsessed with them. Anytime I see a stat online that looks like it, I like inversion, or if I see a low cloud, I like inversion, even when it's like rain. <laughs> I'm getting quite hot now. Oh, because I'm wearing a down jacket still. But yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm looking at the cloud and thinking, oh, it looks like it, it is quite a nice inversion. If you're higher up. One of those, you know, really high up ones where you're just above the cloud. My favourite ones with rock and spectres and foggles. Oh well. <laughs> um, but you don't always get it your way. I really enjoyed it still. Never, never not enjoy being out, even if I don't get what I want. Love it. It's been a fantastic camp. Despite the fact I got no sleep and I have a bit of a throbbing headache, but apart from that, I still, fresh air's done me good. I can go home and sleep now, I don't go to work at the minute. And uh, I think I'm going to call it out with you guys now, I'm going to say bye. Because you've seen all the views coming up and I showed you yesterday, so um, yeah. I'm going to let you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe uh, to my channel please. Um, and yeah, hopefully there'll be more exposed camps happening soon, um, away up in the highlands and all the best, till next time. Oh my god, a year till I'm 30 now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that short video and please like and subscribe and leave comments below and see you next time.